I am so pumped. It just, it fits the moves perfectly. It took us like a month to figure out a template and the new size and trying to figure that out. And yes, yeah, so we've been on it just off and on since June. So I haven't actually added up the hours, but it's a lot, a lot more than I thought. It's, it's, it's way bigger. That rack is way bigger when it hits the ground than you think. So it, it was more than I thought. I did a lot of the airbrushing on the rack underneath different epoxy layers just to give it different depths. We don't really know what it's going to look like until it's up there. We did a test fit. Uh, a little over two weeks ago with just the metal but you still don't know what it is until now today it's like yeah we did it because it truly is it doesn't the racks like three times as big as the old size it might be too big you don't know until you put it up there and it's like when I got up there it's just like yes we did it and we're gonna tilt the rack ahead just another three four inches so we'll weld the back put a big steel plate on and then I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna start fiberglassing and epoxying and foaming the whole rest of the antlers because there's like 16 an inches of the antlers so we have to do that all up in the air today and then hopefully we can get this done and get the epoxy layers on before it rains tonight. So we're building this giant world record rack and there's nobody you can call. You know, like, you know, some of my friends, we sit around and my family and stuff and we try to figure out how to do things. But that was the biggest challenge about this is this isn't something people do every day. So it makes it like the unknowns are continuous.